Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit and this is the day 15 of the web service integration training. And today we will talk about that access token versus refresh token. So some of the colleagues asked me that what is the access token and what is the refresh token. And definitely for the integration, we definitely need to know that what is the access token and refresh token. And uh, this is the theoretical part for the access token and the refresh token. We will uh, uh, do some exercise also. Uh, it will take two or three classes to understand that access token and refresh token. So we'll, uh, this is the theoretical class. Here we will discuss that what is the access token and refresh token. Then later we will discuss through the postman. And then further uh, the next class will uh, implement actually into the service now environment. So let's understand what is the access token and refresh token. So I am just going to going through that um, the definition. So if you see this access token, a secure string that client uses to access protected resource. An instance issues access token to client that have a valid authorization grant. Each access token has specific scope, lifespan, and other attribute. Let's talk about the refresh token. What is the refresh token? A credential that have client used to obtain a new access token without requiring additional user authorization. An instance issues refresh token to a client when it is first authorized to have access token. So let's understand that in a layman language in a theoretical part. So let's say that you are accessing any of this application. So in our future, we are going to implement uh, the Spotify integration. So uh, Spotify app integration. In this uh, a Spotify app integration, let's understand this is the Spotify app in the right side. And this Spotify, Spotify app is divided into the two parts. One is the authorization server, another is the resource server. So what is the authorization server and what is the resource server? I'll just quickly um, uh, brief in a one minute. So authorization server is the nothing but where all the user credential is stored. Let's say that username, user, password, or maybe their mobile number and everything. And what is the resource server? In the resource server, let's take example for Spotify. It have a song, it have a playlist, it have a uh, artist details. So all these called resource. So authorization means that to authenticate yourself, to log into that particular application, uh, whatever credential you need that is stored in a, a particular server that we call the authorization server. And the resource server where actual the resource, let's say for banking, where the, all the transaction, all the account details are stored, that is called resource. For Spotify app, yeah, where all the songs available, all the, um, uh, um, you know, artists available, all the playlist details available, that is called resource server. So basically for application, we divide it into two server. One is the authorization server, another is the resource server. Why don't we mix that? Because during the login, you need some um, um, extra security, but for accessing the resource, you might need the less security. So that's the reason any application is divided into two parts. One is the authorization ser uh, server and another is the resource server. So what will be happens uh, in actual behind the screen uh, when you log in for the first time? So when you log in to the first time to accessing your application through the API, let's say that you are calling to the API uh, for Spotify or anything, what will be happen once you call the first time, uh, the Spotify or the particular application will be returned two things. One is the access token, another is the refresh token. Two token you will get that. One is the access token and second is the refresh token, okay? So what is the use case for the access token and uh, refresh token? So access token, using the access token, you can only access to the resource part, okay? So you can access to the particular uh, playlist, you can access particular uh, image, particular song, particular artist details, all these you can do the access using the access token. Now, if you use the refresh token, uh, you only be able to uh, access the resources. Using the using the resource, uh, refresh token, you can't access anything, okay, uh, on the resource server. You can only use the access token and only using the access token, you can actually access the, uh, you know, uh, uh, resource server. So if you see this um, example, client is passing the access token and then they are getting the protected resource details. So if you pass the resource token, you won't get that, nothing. So you have to pass the access token and using the access token, you will get that some details. Now, the access token have some um, 
uh, limitation or you can say that uh, some uh, features that it will be automatically expired within certain time it will be expired within the 30 minutes within the one hour that will be defined by the server okay so this access token will be automatically automatically expire within certain time so let's say that within one hour maybe within 30 minutes or within that uh, two days this access token will be uh, expired okay why this access token will be expired because let's say that this access token is passed by someone this access token is shared by someone right and then they can misuse for the long time for the, that the, for the security reason the access token will be automatically expired within a particular time frame let's say 30 minute or maybe one hour or maybe one day okay and now once this access token is expired if you try to re, uh, try to access this resource you won't be able to get that uh, you know details or you won't be able to access the resource because this access token is uh, expired then how do you get the new access token to get a new access token you have to pass the refresh token to the authorization server and you will get the access token let's understand one more time so this refresh token will be only the purpose is the refresh token purpose is to get a new access token so the purpose of the refresh token is to get a new access token so for authorization server you have to pass this refresh token and once you pass this refresh token you will get a new access token okay so what will be happen once you get the new access token you will pass this access token to this resource server and you'll get access that you'll get the access to that music or maybe the playlist or everything all the resource you will be able to access so access token have a time frame that it will get uh, you will get this access token for 30 minute or maybe one hour after one hour you won't be able to get that uh, you won't be able to access this resource to access this resource you need to call the authorization server again uh, using the refresh token and you will get a fresh access token and that fresh access token can be passed and get these details so this is how it works and when you done when you do the first time when you uh, if you see here uh, first authorization have done um, that time so when you do the authorization first time you will get the access token uh, and refresh token uh, in the very first time so we'll do when you get the first time when you do authorize yourself on the first time you'll get access token and refresh token first uh, on the first call but after that you have to call again and again to uh, passing the refresh token and getting that new access token so you will pass the refresh token you will get the access token okay now what is the benefit so benefit of this using the refresh token that when you authorize yourself first time you need to put your credential to authorize yourself you need to pass your username password and everything and once you pass these details then only you will uh, get the access token and refresh token okay and now once you get the refresh token using the refresh token you can get that access token you don't need to pass all these credential anymore okay so you don't need to pass any credential you will just pass the refresh token and you get the access token so this is the benefit of the access token so okay so that's it all about the access token and refresh token if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day